But as we all know from our previous educational experiences, hopefully that hasn't carried through too much later on, there are certain conditions that we must have around us or that, that there must be, that must be met in order for us to help people learn. And on one of those sheets that you have in front of you talks about um, four specific conditions for learning. And the first one of those is clarity. It also mentions trust. Also comfort and interest. Four specific conditions. You see those arrows in there. What they should be pointing to is the fact that all of these interact. Let's take, for example, the opposite of these conditions, what educators usually like to call <coughs> blocks. The opposite of clarity is what? Confusion. Vague. Confusion. Ambiguity. I'm sorry? Ambiguity. Ambiguity, sure, which is not completely dark, but not completely clear either. What else? Vague Obs and misleading. Something that's misleading would be unclear, sure. Obscurity, confusion. How about the opposite of trust? Defiance. I'm sorry? I'm sorry, I'm using a French word, so I'll... <laughs> Go ahead, I, I may understand know, it too. I don't know the translation, though. Defiance, uh, méfiance, or defiance, do you have the same word? Defiance? Yes. Um, well, fear, actually, yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, don't it's closer to it. <clears throat> fear. You don't trust somebody, mistrust. How about the opposite of comfort? <clears throat> You're talking about the chair before. Mm -hmm. Uncomfortable. That's right, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Do you think that would influence how long you can sit, for example? Oh, certainly it would. Well, it takes your, your, your attention away, doesn't it, to a certain extent? Well, it does influence what you pick up. Discomfort, irritation, annoyance, okay? And I'm sure we can think of many situations where that would be a, a very important factor. And we'll talk about some of those later. And the opposite of interest. Disinterest. Disinterest. Boredom. Boredom, sure. But that doesn't happen in any of our classrooms, does it? Nobody's ever bored. That's funny, when you talk to people who, who are, make a living teaching college about these same things. You know, I look in people's faces and wonder, <laughs> which of you does this? <laughs> None. They're all very interesting. Uh, anyway, if what you're saying is not clear, or the ideas that you're trying to, to bring across are not clear, either because if you're using written media, they're not very clear, they're not something that people can understand readily, that makes people uncomfortable, people irritated, can't understand what you're saying. Takes interest away. Of course, if you erode on the interest of a person, you also take their attention away, and pretty soon you're going to, to have a negative influence on their uh, commitment to whatever it is that you're trying to get them to learn. So all of this goes to the same place. These are the opposite of these four conditions are blocks to learning that eventually will prevent the people for whom you're trying to, to uh, or whom you're trying to help uh, develop these skills, and acquire this knowledge, um, remove themselves from, from the uh, educational experience. And therefore, what we're going to talk about next, either directly or indirectly, talks about each one of these conditions the clarity, the comfort, the need for trust and interest in the uh, educational setting. So I'd like to, to point out that our goal this afternoon is to relate the needs of adult learners to an instructor's skills. Why? We'll see as we go along why. <laughs>